As I go through this, keep your chart in mind. The amino acid of asparginine is here with gate 32, the gate of continuity, bringing its fear of failure. You remember it's about awareness. See, the potential awareness of who or what can be transformed or not. And it speaks to the nature of how fear of failure holds you back from doing what you want to do or maybe what is correct for you to do. So if you've got a 32 in an undefined splenic center, as I have, what can happen because it's a conditioning receptor, there's a potential for amplification of the fear and distortion. So acting out of fear rather than from your authoritative process. So asparginine is known for its key role in the biosynthesis of glycoproteins. In addition, it is also essential for the synthesis of many other proteins. The human nervous system also needs this amino acid to be able to maintain an equilibrium. Foods rich in asparginine include dairy, whey, beef, poultry, eggs, fish, seafood, asparagus, potatoes, legumes, nuts, seeds, whole grains, and soy. Now, soy is such a strong estrogen that it can throw your hormones out of balance. Personally, I don't go for soy uh, now that I know that that is a potential. And whole grains, some people have an allergy to certain grains, some sensitive digestive systems. So I would just make sure that you use your authority rather than just going off the list here. You can see asparginine is actually shared by the gate 28. So that might be something to contemplate when it comes to the health or the building blocks, amino acids or building blocks of what we need for our survival. So further up through the stream, we have the 44, and that's about trusting your instincts to achieve on the material plane and to succeed. This is about the love of success, material success, or love of having success, supportive success together. It's the tribal art of enterprise. It's the capitalism side of the tribal body graph. So alertness, continuity, gate of continuity, duration, everything changes, feeds into this gate of alertness or the smell potential, smell here. This is the 32 is the smell potential for other people to rise up to success. So the um, managerial cap capability or capacity of the 32 to recognize somebody who has what it takes to achieve something on the material plane, their ambition. And then it moves through to become the 44, which is about uh, the love of talent as far as other people's ability to persuade or convince. So this is something that is part of the channel of surrender. It's about support and, and transmission. Now here with this splenic instinct, gate of alertness, fear of the past, you know it's about the smell, like a genetic lineage smell, like the smell of uh, fear, ancient, ancient fears, things that could kill us. So it's not only talents and potentials, but also past baggage that can potentially catch up with you. This amino acid, it's shared here with the gate 50, is glutamine. Glutamine is an important and the most abundant amino acid with many functions in the body stored mostly in the muscles and lungs. It's a building block of protein and a critical part of the immune system. Glutamine has a special role in intestinal health and brain function. Your body is designed to naturally produce this amino acid and it's also found in many foods. So here's the foods that contain glutamine. Animal proteins, including Beef, poultry, pork, fish, and organ meats are sources of glutamine. Cooking these foods, which is necessary to prevent foodborne illness, destroys much of the availability of the amino acid, however. You can still obtain some added glutamine by including cooked meats and safely prepared sushi and sashimi to your diet. Eggs are another glutamine-containing protein source appropriate for people who avoid meat. Some people do not, are not designed to eat meat and for 
them dairy foods we could go to, which contribute to your dietary intake of glutamine. So milk, yogurt, ricotta cheese, cottage cheese are examples of such foods. Goat's milk is actually even higher in glutamine than cow's milk. Also, many raw leafy vegetables have high levels of glutamine. Heat destroys, remember heat destroys glutamine, so you can eat your glutamine rich vegetables raw when possible. Raw spinach and cabbage are some of the most common ones. For a loaded dose of amino acid, you could drink freshly juiced cabbage. You know, what comes to mind is some people actually like to kraut, you know, cabbage, and then there's the juice of the kraut when you make it, so that immediate juice before you let it pickle. I imagine that would be a good source of glutamine as well. Raw parsley, oh, I love that. Probed up provides a solid dose of glutamine. You could add it to fresh juice or a smoothie. As I'm a cold thirst person, I do um, enjoy that. Raw parsley is like, oh, it's just mm, yum. Anyway, beans and legumes, if you eat them, I don't. But they're also a good source of glutamine and they can add protein to a vegetarian diet. That was from Livestrong, 